Hey, this is Robbie Frank. I'm a business professional and I've been a business owner for about 10 years of my life. I've managed to grow and sell a company as well as uh, have multiple successful businesses. So I wanted to make this uh, short series, uh, basically detailing various ways that you can start your journey for uh, doing B2B lead generation. Basically, if you're an agency owner, a SaaS company, Anyone who's looking to target professionals, uh, these videos are going to be for you. Now, I'm not uh, going too hard on the production values. The main reason is that I have other businesses and I'm involved in a lot of projects, which means I don't really have time to uh, get these videos done as well in terms of production as I would want to. Uh, however, this is pretty valuable information, and I do think that uh, there's very good reason to watch it despite the kind of lackluster uh, production values just for the content. Anyway, uh, the first uh, way I wanted to uh, basically explain about for generating leads, uh, first out of five probably, uh, is going to be cold email marketing. Now, I've used cold email marketing to scale one of my businesses from zero to six figures in revenue. In about six months, uh, we actually ended up uh, inv getting an investment for that business and selling it a few months later. Uh, so basically, this is a business that grew uh, from zero to about $350,000 in revenue almost entirely using cold email marketing, uh, which just goes to show how powerful it can be. So this is something that I've had a lot of experience with. And I want to talk about the benefits, the downsides, uh, what you need to get started, and the easiest way to actually start. So uh, number one, in terms of benefits, uh, cold email marketing is extremely, extremely scalable. So basically, if you have a campaign that's working really well, and the target audience is fairly big, meaning above 10,000 people, you can basically uh, scale these campaigns massively. So at the peak of my previous company, Primatica, uh, we reached a point where we were sending 40,000 emails on a daily basis uh, to business owners all across the United States and the UK, and basically generating dozens of leads every day. So it's uh, extremely scalable. Uh, this is something that uh, you can just add more emails, addresses, and basically just grow it uh, because it's automated mostly if you do it correctly. Uh, so that's one of the big benefits. Another one is that uh, there's potential for massive results. So uh, from our experience, when you do cold email marketing right, you're actually able to generate about uh, 10 times as many leads as you would with the same budget for Facebook ads and Google ads. Uh, basically, the reason is that it's it's much more competitive in the sense that uh, either it works really well or it doesn't, which I'll go to go through in a minute. Uh, but the main benefit is that uh, if you do manage to get it right and have all of your ducks lined in a row, uh, you are going to get much better results than somebody who pays for ads on Facebook or any other social media platform. And finally, it makes you really a pro at your niche. So the difference between doing cold emails versus something like ads or SEO is that when you do cold emails, you're basically able to control the people that you'll be targeting. So you handpick your targets. And what that means is that the types of responses and the types of, of clients that you'll be able to generate become very, very consistent. So it basically enables you to become the master at your trade and be able to uh, kind of master the marketing process, the sales process, again, all because you're generating the same types of leads every time. So that's these are the top three benefits. In terms of downsides, it can be very challenging technically. So there's no one correct way to do email marketing. There are a lot of nuances that you need to be aware of. And there are obviously dozens of uh, thousands of guides on the internet on how to do it. And sometimes a lot of conflicting information. Uh, there's people that swear by doing it manually. It's people who do it automated. There's a gazillion ways to automate it. And there are a lot of, pro of steps to the process, you know, from scraping how to scrape leads and actually create an email list. Uh, how do you structure the email templates? It's basically uh, a lot more uh, the Wild West, you could say, than if you compare it to something like uh, social media marketing. So it's very challenging technically, especially if you want to do it at a very high level. And again, usually it works or it doesn't. So either it works really well and you're getting amazing results or you're getting just crap, basically just either negative replies or just even worse, like no replies at all. So these are the bit, the two downsides. These are the benefits. Uh, again, I think the benefits severely, dramatically outweigh the downsides, which is, uh, again, proven by my own experience as well as some of our clients. Uh, what do you need to actually get started? So number one, you need a really, 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 really good pitch. If you don't have a great pitch, don't even get started doing cold emails. Uh, the reason for that is that a cold email 
at the end of the day, the goal behind it is to basically generate interest. So the only way to generate interest is to have a really, really good pitch. And you can learn a lot more about pitching by studying people like Grant Cardone, who basically teach you how to pitch people in five or 10 seconds. And you have to be able to uh, give a very succinct, very short and clear explanation of exactly why that person should be interested or why they should listen to you. So for example, uh, let's say you're a marketing agency owner, you should be able to give a pitch that really captures your client's attention and makes you stand out from every other marketing agency. Uh, for example, uh, we guarantee uh, that we'll be able to triple your your uh, contacts, your daily uh, lead generation, or we'll uh, give you your money back at the end of the month. You know, some it doesn't have to be something like that, but obviously uh, it has to be something where somebody hears it and they're like, okay, I'm really interested. I want to know more. You know, we're the only... X company that offer a results-based guarantee, or we're the only Y company that achieves this and this type of results, or we specifically help this and this kind of company. You have to have something that really, really makes you stand out that gets, basically that gets you excited in about five or 10 seconds after you say it. Uh, you have to have a valid, e validated email list. So uh, it's not important. It's not enough to just get a really good emails, an email list, meaning really targeted and, and, uh, and specific. But it's also important to validate your email list. And the reason is that there's a thing called spam traps. So most people don't know what spam traps are. And these are basically websites that have been created by internet service pro providers. Uh, websites like uh, GoDaddy that hold uh, a large percentage of the websites online. And what they're meant to do is basically they're meant to um, get people to go into that website. Let's say it's a fake website for a roofing contractor in Florida. And then you get that email and you send them an email. And by sending them an email, it actually notifies uh, the service for GoDaddy or whatever other domain provider it is that this is probably a cold emailer. So what happens is they actually blacklist your email and suddenly uh, emails from your domain just don't get to other people. Um, so that's why you need to validate your emails using something like Zero Bounce and or one of the many, many other alternatives. Uh, because again, if you don't, you could end up having your domain blacklisted and not even realizing why. And uh, finally, uh, you need a good software, a virtual assistant, or a proprietary sending solution. So in our case, we actually built a proprietary sending solution. We coded and developed our own sending system. Uh, some people choose to use a VA, basically pay somebody through Upwork or Freelancer, a couple of dollars an hour, and just have them send anywhere from 15 to 30 emails per hour per email account. And obviously, if you have more, you can rotate them as well. Uh, or use software, uh, I would recommend that you use something like GMAS. Uh, GMAS is, in my experience, the uh, easiest, uh, one of the cheaper ones, and definitely the kind of the most streamlined where you can just get started uh, really quickly and really easily. If anybody needs, I can also make a short tutorial on that. Uh, now, in terms of the easiest way to get started, uh, basically just detail your product, exactly what you're offering, and come up with a few great pitches, something that you're offering that's very unique, something that will catch people's attention. Uh, write a short email templates plus a few follow-ups because the money is in the follow-ups. And by the way, the way you do follow-ups is by replying to the original email that you sent out. That way, it, it kind of bumps the original one. I can't tell you how many deals, even outside of cold emails, how many deals I've closed uh, or helped uh, revive just because uh, the person didn't get the email, didn't see it, or whatever. Like, it happens nearly on a daily basis for me. So um, the way you can find these templates really easily is just write uh, cold email templates. And usually you'll find some really, really good stuff. Uh, there's uh, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of free, uh, free guides for that. So uh, just some really, really uh, good templates. And definitely don't be afraid to, to try something new and kind of breaking the mold a bit. Uh, then you want to collect your first 500 emails. Again, you can hire a VA, uh, virtual assistant through Upwork or freelance to do it, freelancer, uh, or you can just go yourself, uh, you know, search for whatever you're looking for, uh, whether it's the roofing contractors or SaaS companies, whatever it may be, uh, create your initial list of 500 emails, try to personalize it as well. So maybe add, uh, like, uh, like a five word, uh, five word, uh, value for each, uh, company where you, for example, uh, what that company does. So that way you can kind of personalize the emails a bit automatically. Um, and basically that's uh, how you can get started and then set up your first uh, GMS campaign, uh, enter all of the basic inputs, uh, connect it to, to a Google Drive sheet where you have all the leads and it will basically take care of everything from there. This is really the, the easiest way to get started. 
So this is a quick introduction to cold email marketing. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. And feel free to Google, uh, search on YouTube for Robbie Frank cold emails uh, to basically find uh, a lot more information that I've made about cold emails from uh, short videos to very long lectures. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments and I'll do my best to, um, to answer them. Feel free to like and subscribe. And thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.